My name's Robin, and I'm here with Tom DuPont, chairman and publisher of DuPont Registry. Tom, please tell us what's going on here. Well, welcome, and good morning to you, and early morning in Tampa, Florida. It it's Cars and Coffee, third Saturday of the month, 7 to 9. We get four or 500 automobiles here. We've got every kind of car from street rod to a Jaguar to a Ferrari to a Rolls Royce and probably 1,200 people just coming by Saturday morning to have a cup of coffee. They'll all be gone by 9.30. They've all got to go home and mow the lawn and go to the kids' <laughs> soccer practice and do their chores at home or whatever. We don't want to interrupt their day. But we have a tremendous crowd of automobile enthusiasts and they're wonderful automobiles. And we're inside now. Can you tell us about some of the cars that are here? This is our showroom and our publishing office. We don't print the magazine here, but we do have cars for sale and we have people enthusiasts to come in and we have cars that we store for celebrities when they're not in town. This particular car in front of us is a 911L. It's a very unusual car because it's the breed between the 911 and the 911 S. So it has the Beautiful. S package, but not the S engine because Porsche couldn't get the S engine cleared for emissions back when this car was built. <laughs> what year is it? It's a 1967 911L. Wow. Targa, soft rear window, two owner car, completely restored ground up, all yours for $120,000. Oh, does it? can I get two, like in a red and a blue? Well, this is the only one. That's the only one? The only one. Well, then And behind us we have three unusual cars. They belong to a Major League Baseball player. He lives here in the area. We store his cars from him and everybody likes to come by and take pictures of the of the Aston Martin, the uh, 711, and the GTR, and the 918 Porsche. Just some great automobiles. This is where I work every day. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm guessing you probably started at a young age being a car enthusiast? I did indeed. I have a car over in the corner here uh, that's been my car since uh, 1968. Awesome. What kind of car is that? It's a Porsche. It's a, it's a little Roadster. It's a 356A body, and uh, it's an extraordinary little car. Uh, there are not many Roadsters around, and uh, its name is Polly Porsche. Polly Porsche. It's a personal friend. There you go. Just like a best friend, right? Exactly. After 47 years, it's one of my best friends. But we like to do this one because there's a lot of really good people in the Tampa Bay area. The Ferrari Club comes out. The Miata Club comes out all the time. And they love driving here early in the morning. The roads are open and clear. And maybe they go a little <laughs> over the speed limit, but maybe not. You know. And uh, we have the best time. This morning we've got an MRAP, which is the bomb disposal rescue uh, truck for the uh, um, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, really unusual rig from the Army, repurposed for civilian work. Uh, we just had two of Richard Petty's cars come in loaded with toys for Toys for Tots, our oh, special that's charity wonderful. this time. We'll be here. able to take a look at that in a They're little They're right bit? out in the parking lot, so okay. you'll be able to get a good shot of them, both in that Petty blue, and one of them's the Superbird, the other's a Charger, and they are Richard Petty's cars. They're the real thing. They're not a remake, they're not a redo, they're not a fake. They're not a put together, they're exactly the car that he raced in. Before we're done, um, Loraco Technologies has the Loraco i7 here uh, for your customers, guests to check out. You have know, you sat in it yet? I've been in the Loraco. It's wonderful. It takes a little bit getting used to, but boy, you feel so good when you get out of it. It's a terrific uh, uh, relaxation as well as uh, um, stimulation. Awesome. Uh, vehicle, really. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> like a car. And uh, we were using it the other day and testing out some of the different options. And it's really a, re a remarkable uh, piece of equipment. And we value our, our partnership very much. But we're enjoying it here. Our clients enjoy it. And we've had a lot of interest on them. Even during the week when people come in, we have ball players, celebrities come in to look at cars. We have a repair shop here called Boulevard Customs. So we do a lot of custom work. Well, they come down to the showroom to look at stuff. They've all got a big living room somewhere and a big TV room. They need they need one of these chairs to be able to get comfortable. I stop down on a regular basis, get a little loose before I go up and start charging upstairs in the office. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And again, we're going to go outside and uh, check out Richard Petty's car. Good enough. Todd, you own some impressive vehicles here. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Uh, yes, I'm, I enjoy collecting muscle cars, but when it was one of seven and one of 14, I decided to go after the race cars that motivated people. There's an old term called, what wins on Sunday sells on Monday, and everybody's collecting all the Monday cars, and I wanted to go after collecting any kind of good, 
stuff that is still left from when they were getting raced and beat up but the what wins on Sunday I wanted the winning Sunday cars so these are the actual cars these are two of Richard Petty's examples the actual cars that he raced this is his one and only Superbird and the car in the foreground is Richard's 1971 Roadrunner that he also won one of his seven championships with and won 21 out of the 200 races that he raced does he Richard know you have his cars yes he does this car the Superbird I had proved to him that I had the car and they actually restored the car for me truly on the same surface plate the car was built in 1969 Wow and how long have you had it um, I've had these cars for about 10 years so driving here do people just like gawk at you and stare as you pass them on the highway well the younger ones they're a little scratching their head going wow race cars on the road oh that's awesome well a wonderful day here in Florida Todd thank you very much and uh, you. your cars are beautiful well thank you enjoy your day there you have it cars and coffee with Todd Warner and his Richard Petty official cars Yes. You are the one that brought the Loraco iRobotics 7 to DuPont Registry. Correct. I, I, I saw the Loraco chair somewhere and I thought, what a great opportunity for our audience to get introduced to a super product like the Loraco i7 chair. Um, it's not for everybody, but there's a lot of folks that really enjoy it. Is it would it be correct to say it matches up to the people that are here today? Oh, absolutely. High-end cars, high-end chair total performance all the way around no great, doubt great great have you sat in the chair multiple times it's hard to get me out <laughs> I love to hear that you know we have a position in the office where if, if you're in there too long somebody will remind you <laughs> <laughs> so what else is coming well there goes a shiny one well we got a Subaru coming through here and we got one of the newer Volkswagens coming behind us oh, what's this? And, and this looks like maybe an old Packard V8 so That's an old one. One of the old Honda, one of the newer Hondas here. So we get all kinds of cars. We get the uh, the high end exotics, the collectibles. A lot of people like to term rice burners. Rice burners. Rice burners. Uh, the Japanese Japanese sports cars. Oh, I get it. And a Volkswagen. And a Volkswagen. Mm. And of course the Porsches, BMWs, uh, Mustangs, you name it. These are boys and their toys, as I say. Boys and their toys, there's a lot of gals here too with their cars That's too. That's true, that's true. Absolutely. But I would have to admit- It is not an exclusive club. Not exclusive, but the guys outnumber the girls 20 to one? Uh, probably at that, yes. <laughs> at that, yes. Uh, I have to say, a wonderful day here at DuPont Registry. Cars and coffee, um, just awesome. Uh, I wish I knew more about cars. Well to hang around here you'll learn a little bit well we appreciate you guys coming out today it was awesome well uh you guys have been wonderful hosts Thank and you. uh we look forward to the future that the rocco well, i7 we, has well, with dupont Reg. well we appreciate the partnership it's good hi tom why do you select the uh, medical massage chairs from uh, lurico technology uh, instead of um, auto massage chairs well, we have an interesting audience with the DuPont Registry. We reach all the way around the world, mostly in North America, and we reach the very high-end consumer who likes exotic automobiles, Porsches, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, collectible cars, very expensive. Uh, they're not really toys, they're investments. A lot of them like to relax, they like to be comfortable, and what better accompaniment would you have than this chair, which is like driving a high-speed automobile, exotic automobile, but you're sitting still. And this is good for you too, so we like to do good things for our clients as well. Have you ever tried the, uh, the chairs? You know what's amazing about this, I've been in the chair a number of times, and what's amazing about it is the options. You have so many different things you can do, and so many different things you can exercise and massage. So if you've got sore legs from working at a car show, you can come in and get that done. Your back's a little sore from lifting magazines, you can get that done. Or you can just come here and relax. It's not a bad place to come, turn it on, let it go on soft, and read the morning paper. All right. Thank you very much. You bet.